Hello, I'm Haiying Li. Welcome to Feature Extraction and Feature Engineering. In this video, we'll discuss the techniques for categorical data in the feature extraction and the feature engineering process. We'll focus on encoding techniques and the methods for handling large categorical variables. Categorical data takes on discrete, non-numerical values, representing categories or groups. Encoding categorical variables is a process of converting categorical data into a numerical format that can be used as input for analysis. It has four types, one-hot encoding, dummy encoding, effect coding, and the contrast coding. The reason for encoding is that most machine learning algorithms require numbers as data, not strings or text. So these string or text variables must be transformed into numerical values. This allows the model to identify patterns in the data and make predictions based on those patterns. Encoding also helps to prevent bias in the model by ensuring that all features are equally weighted. The choice of encoding method can have a significant impact on model performance. So it's important to choose an appropriate encoding method based on the nature of the data and the specific requirements of the model. One-hot encoding is the most common encoding method. It's a process of converting categorical data into a binary column for each category, represented by a unique binary number, 0 or 1. The number of variables generated is the same number of categories, that is k. This type of encoding is used when the data is nominal. Here I use an ordinal variable, the highest educational level, as an example. Later you will see why one hot encoding is not appropriate for the ordinal variable. This variable has three categories, bachelor, master, and doctoral. So three columns will be created. In each column, only one category is hot and set to one, and all the other categories are cold, set to zero. For example, in the bachelor column, a value of 1 is assigned to participants with the highest degree of bachelors, while participants with the highest educational level of masters or doctorals are assigned a value of 0. The same logic applies to the master and the doctoral columns. Now, let's look at dummy coding. Dummy coding is defined as a process of converting categorical data into a binary column for each category, represented by a binary number 0 or 1. Both dummy coding and one-hot encoding use binary vectors, but dummy coding creates one less binary variable than the number of categories in the original variable, that is k minus 1 features. Thus, perfect multicollinearity will be avoided. Let's use the highest level of education as an example for dummy coding. We investigate a research question. Do participants who have master's or doctoral degrees outperform those who have bachelor's degrees? To answer this question, we can compare the master's and the doctoral groups with the bachelor's group. We use a dummy coding method to create two variables masters and the doctoral. The bachelor column was removed, so our results are more interpretable compared to using one-hot encoding. The bachelor group is a reference group assigned the value of zero. In the masters variable, the master group is assigned the value of one, so we can compare the masters group with the bachelor's group. In the doctoral group, the doctoral group is assigned the value of 1, so we can compare the doctoral group with the bachelor's group. In linear regression, the intercept 
is the means of the reference groups, which are coded as zeros in all the dummy coded variables. In this case, the intercept is the mean of the bachelor's group. The coefficient equals the difference between the mean of the reference group and the coded one group. In this case, beta one is a difference in means between the master's group and the bachelor's group. Beta two is a difference in means between the doctor's group and the bachelor's group. Effect coding is also known as deviation coding or sum coding, particularly used in linear regressions. Each category is assigned a set of numerical codes, that is one for the target category, negative one for the reference category, and the others for zero. Target category is signed as one, reference category is signed as negative one, other category is signed as zero. The effect coding is very similar to dummy coding. Using the dummy coding for the higher education variable as an example again. In effect coding, we code the base category bachelors with a value of negative ones. The base group is often the group whose comparison with the grand mean is of least interest. The contrast groups are coded as one and the other groups as zero. In this case, C1 contrasts the master's group with the mean of all the three groups in the regression equation. Similarly, C2 contrasts the doctoral group with the mean of all the three groups. In linear regression, the intercept is the grand mean of the dependent variable for all the groups. In our case, it is the average means across all the groups, including doctoral, masters, and the bachelor's groups. The coefficient represents the difference between the mean of the group coded one and the grand mean of all the groups. So it represents the effect of being the coded one group. In our case, beta one is the difference in means between the master's group and all the three groups, doctoral, master's, and the bachelor's groups. Beta two is the difference in means between the doctoral group and all the three groups, doctoral, master's, and the bachelor's groups. Contrast coding encodes categorical variables with more than two categories. Contrast coding facilitates the testing of specific hypotheses of interest. For three-level categorical variable, dummy coding can compare one group with the other two groups, such as comparing the control group with two treatment groups. However, it cannot compare two treatment groups. If we want to compare two treatment groups, we need to use multiple comparisons. Multiple comparisons will increase type one error, and we should adjust the p-values accordingly. Contrast coding can not only compare the control group with the other two treatment groups, but also compares treatment one and treatment two groups. Thus, contrast coding increases the statistical power against the type two error. Type two error refers to an incorrect rejection that a variation in the past has made no statistically significant difference. This means we mistakenly believe the false non-hypothesis and think a relationship doesn't exist when it actually does. Contrast coding sharpens the interpretation of results because it tests the specific hypothesis. Let's still use the highest level of education as an example to illustrate why we use contrast coding. We investigate two research questions. First one, do participants who have master's or doctoral degrees outperform those who have much less degrees? Question number two, do participants with doctoral degrees outperform those with master's degrees? To answer the first question, we can compare the master's and doctoral groups with a bachelor's group. To answer the second question, we can compare the doctoral and the master's groups. 
we use two rules to construct compost codes. Rule number one, the sum of weights across all groups for each code must equal zero. Therefore, I assigned one third weights to code the masters and the doctoral groups respectively, and assigned a negative two thirds weight to code the bachelor's group. The sum of weights across C1 is one third plus one third plus negative two thirds equal zero. The sum of weights across C2 is one half plus zero plus negative one half equals zero. Rule number two, the sum of the products of each pair of code variables must equal zero. In this case, in the master's group, the product of codes in C1 and C2 is one third multiplied by one half, resulting in one sixth. Similarly, we calculate the products of the doctoral and bachelor's groups, which are negative one six and zero, respectively. The total sum equals zero. In this case, C1 counters the master's and doctoral groups with the mean of the bachelor's groups in the regression equation. Similarly, C2 counters the doctoral group with the mean of the master's group. In linear regression, the intercept is the average means across all groups, including doctoral, masters, and bachelors. The coefficient equals the difference between the mean of the two contrasted groups. For example, beta 1 is the difference in means between the doctoral and the master's groups and the bachelor's groups. Beta 2 is a difference in means between the doctoral group and the master's groups. Final thoughts. When having encoding, pros, a straightforward representation of categories, compatible with a wide range of machine learning algorithms, useful when there is no inherent order among categories. Cons, being computationally expensive, especially with high cardinality, may lead to multicollinearity. Dummy coding, pros, efficient representation with k-1 binary variables, compatible with various algorithms, well suited for ordinal data with a defined order. Cons, may still result in multicollinearity, the choice of the reference category can impact the results. Effect coding, pros, captures deviations of each category from the overall mean, avoids perfect multicollinearity. Cons, less common than one hot and dummy coding, interpretation may be less intuitive. Contrast coding, pros, represents specific linear contrasts between categories, is suitable for ordinal data with a natural order, avoids perfect multicollinearity. Cons, less common, and the interpretation may require more effort. Thank you all. See you in the next video.